What is up fellow Thomas Chefs, I am Ducky O'Brien and welcome to episode 20 of my playthrough. Today we're gonna go over level 24, not mushroom. Sounds interesting. What's not mushroom? Okay, it looks simple enough. Okay, so I guess it's Levels focusing on a tiny build and being energy efficient. <laughs> Humans aren't so bad. Nonsense. Nonsense! Okay, let's take a look at this. Beach Burger. Alright. Three patties. Mm, that's a lot of patties. Chicken salad. Okay, double shredded lettuce and then a plain hot dog. What a weird, <laughs> weird build. All right, always start with the dispensers first. Before for this. Okay. Got buns. Got patties. Pate, got mushroom, and what was the fourth? Tomato. That sounds a little bit nasty to be honest. Okay, chicken salad. One, two, three, four. Okay. Guess you could share the um, the tomato dispenser, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, two lettuce, one carrot, one chicken. And then one tomato. Plain hot dog, we only have two. Hot dog and bun. Thank goodness, something simple and straightforward. Alright, let's start with the hot dog first. It's the simplest. Makes sense to put it here, I believe. Takes the least space vertically. I forgot to turn on the sound effects from uh, last time. The stupid level. <laughs> the um, Meal High Club or whatever. I, f I forgot what it was called, but it's just annoying. The elevator. It's the worst sound in the world. I'm not the. I know I'm not the only one who thinks that. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to do one of these dealies because we don't have enough space. Okay. Let's see if that's enough. We're not sure. Mm, yeah, it is. It is. Actually, it is not. It's fine. Bam! Dunzo's hot dog done. Look at this tight, neat order. Space efficient. Energy efficient. What more could you ask for? Alright, chicken salad next. Ugh. Always use electric grill with smart arms, it's just cheaper than anything else, unless you need to save space. A smart arm, dumb arm. Okay, uh, grill. Hmm. How am I gonna fit everything here? Let's try. No, not grilled chicken pieces, just grilled chicken, yeah. No, oh, what that. There you go. To double shred the lettuce. And 
tomato and carrots get shredded once. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the miss efficient way in terms of space to do this. That guarantees that the lettuce is double shredded. There's no room for the assembler though if I do this. the assembler down. I forgot, I guess I switched this to the right side. This way or this way? I think this way is better. Okay, now to shred the chicken. As well, so if you're mm. uh, this would work. But the question is, is it the miss space efficient? To which the answer is probably not. See if you can kind of smoosh this in more. Is it possible? What if I went this way? Yeah, let's try it. There's a lot of space. Actually, you know what? If I can... No, this looks pretty good. I think I can make it the assembler here then. Alright. Now what do I need for the salad dressing? 50 milliliters. Perfect. Need a pump. There we go. I know it's not the most efficient, but... Okay, looks good. Let's save it. Not for the beach burger. Ugh. <laughs> Three pâtés. Alright. Mm, probably could use one more dispenser. I don't know. Probably use a high-speed dispenser. Gets loaded into grill. Dumb arm loads it. Smart arm picks it out. Cook patty, where you at? Oh, oh is it grilled patty? Yeah. Cooked patty. No, cooked patty. Crabby patty. Okay, beach burger. Can use a regular assembler for that. Okay, dumb arm to load the finish order onto the conveyor belt. Okay, and then I need a bun. And then what is it? Is it, wait, 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 wait. Was that a grilled mushroom? 
frick? <laughs> Grilled mushroom, darn it. Okay, all right. Uh, let's bring this back. Bring it back a little bit. Oh, frickin... Grilled mushroom, of course. We're gonna use a long arm for this. Can I chop the mushrooms, grill that, and then pick that up? I have to chop it and then grill it. Interesting. Mm. Okay, okay, fair enough. What's the processor in? Okay. Mm, this is annoying. <laughs> this is slightly annoying. Okay, food processor. I guess it doesn't matter which direction I go for this. She's order readers first, and if it doesn't work, we won't. We will not use it. Or you know what? Let's set it to thirty seconds first, and see if that works or not. No, 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 no. no. We'll use order readers. Screw this. Screw this. Everything else is once. This has to be three times. Glad it's just four for everything. Four dispensers. He's one order reader. Alright. Let's save that. Give this a go. Power usage is already close to a blackout. How? Keep under 35. Uh oh. Right. Oh, straight. This would be the left. Right, I mean. Oh my god, none of these are set right. <laughs> Left. Alright, now let's try it again. Fingers crossed. I don't think I'm gonna ever break 3500. So I'm thinking I'm okay. Uh, there's no... What is this? Chicken... Oh, I was gonna say there's no chicken salad orders and then bam, one came in. Okay, I can replace this with a dumb arm. It's not needed here. I could probably switch this with a long arm. Huh? Why isn't the chicken salad coming up? This is on the right side. Is that the only reason? Let's, let's double check. Uh, 
Oh, cr carrot has to be shredded. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Okay. Simulate order. Basically, if you want to troubleshoot stuff, look at what you're feeling. And then simulate an order for that. And if you can't spot the problem, run it on regular speed. Normal speed. There we go. Um, that we can try using a dumb arm here. I don't think we need a smart arm. Now let's try it again. The reason why I put a long arm here is that there's going to be three paths coming out at high speed along with the chopped mushrooms and I don't want to be clogged up here. So that happened a lot of times so. Let's look at our energy usage. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it. Basically when we hit 25 orders we have to be at around 22 watts, watt hours of energy used. Yeah, I might have to tweak this build a little bit to use less energy. We might barely make it. Yeah, we're gonna go over. Wait, why did the why did the beach burger fail? What? Did I fail an order? What is second? That's working fine. Yeah. I don't understand. Put the five, five, five. Two. Three patties. One chopped mushroom grilled. One sliced tomato and one bun. So I don't understand the deal here. What's going on? How and why did it fail? It didn't even come out. I don't know. Whatever. Just do it again. Try to pay attention to the beach burger now. Should not be failing orders. Okay, I can swap this out with the long arm, probably. Why is the assembler taking so long? A weird. Oh, it's the food critic one. Wow, it starts at red and you lose 50% reputation if you don't deliver it on time. 
Hmm. I don't really care. Let's screw critics. <laughs> Why does an extra beach burger order? for energy used. How did I miss an order? <laughs> uh, okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's... Decrease the watt hours used. I think it's doable. I think we can do this. All right uh, First things first we'll turn this to power saving because it seems like not many hot dogs are being made, right? We'll try that see if you miss any orders uh, Chicken Caesar's not chicken Caesar salad just regular chicken salad. Hmm. Is there a way to Try power saving For this though, I want to meet the critic order, let's be fast. It's a little bit unfair if you ask me. Mm. We'll try swapping this out for a long arm. Let's see if it works. And then I'll try without the order readers, we'll see if it's possible. Sony Beach Burgers. Wow. Okay, yeah, plain hot dog's not a problem, I don't think. Let's get the salad. Alright, not much of a problem here. That's okay. Frequency of these two food items are low enough where I can run it on power saving mode. I think. It's a stupid beach burger, it's in high demand. Stupid food critic. Screw you, food critic. <laughs> Screw you. See if it makes it this time. It did not. I'm gonna have to switch this for a uh, advanced assembler to save time. For now, let's see what our power usage is at the end. I don't think I can set it to 30 seconds. The some of these orders take way too long to come out, so I don't think I can just get rid of order readers. Okay, these I can keep as is. These are fine. I think they're pretty much close to max efficiency as possible. It's this. I gotta tweak this. So I fail another order, but I don't know where. I don't know if it's a food critic or not. Let's let's see. Kind of zoned out towards the end.
What? Why did I fail? What did I? What the heck did I fail? It just dropped. All right, we made it though. We made it. All right, let's try it one more time. We're gonna use an advanced assembler here. We made all the objectives. Okay, beach burger. Why the heck did my efficiency drop 20% though? I need to know. I don't f I didn't fail an order. I don't understand. It might have been due to the fact that the order for the credit came out too f too slow. So then I have an extra burger here and it just spoiled. I think that's probably the case. Okay, let's see if if this isn't energy efficient enough, then I don't know what to do, to be honest. I might have to make him... put him into a storage bin, maybe. Well, I could try that. I could try that. fast enough. I don't understand. Alright, well th that defeats the purpose of having an advanced assembler there. So I'm gonna go back to a regular one. And then what I'm gonna try to do is put it into a, a food bin. So we can get rid of this. And then uh, I need to move this back one tile. Beach burger. Where where you be storage unit? Where you be? Alright. Now well, let's uh do it this way. So that could just drop it straight off. Brilliant! Oh yeah, I need an order reader still. What am I doing? Oh what am I doing with my life? I don't know. seconds too fast that means I don't need a high-speed dispenser he's a regular dispenser where do you be regular dispenser there we go oh. meet patty pate okay let's set the pate to six set everything else to 18 We'll do that for our initial run and see how it goes. Is 
to everything. It's 6 because it's multiples of 3, so everything else that's singular has to be 18. 3 times whatever this is because there's 3 of these. Alright, let's simulate the beach burger and make sure it's working first. Okay, uh, there's no, there's no conveyor belt there. It's my fault. Let's see, it's always good to check. Okay, it's a little bit slow. Can't be helped. Let's just run with it for now. So far, 18 seconds seems like a good time. I'm a little worried towards the middle where there's no beach burgers coming in. Uh, might get spoiled or infested. Right here. Long stretch without beach burger orders. A little worried. Uh oh, got infested by bugs. Uh oh. Okay. Let's try the advanced or large. Might have to increase the time a little bit as well. We'll see. Even if it gets infested, I'm going to keep going just to get an idea of uh, the frequency of the beach burger orders. Uh, I'm just testing to see if 18 seconds is viable or it's too too fast. Right now I'm leaning towards it being a little bit too fast. I'm going to tweak it a little bit. Maybe 22 seconds. Something got infested, yep. Yeah, I think 18 seconds is too fast. Okay. Let's try 25. 24. Actually, you know what? Let's go full 30. Okay, let's try that. I might fail the first two orders because they come up pretty close to back to back. back, to back. So far, 30 looks good. Uh-oh. It's, it's getting a little bit close. <laughs> I don't get why there's so many beach burger orders when I'm not built for it, but then it seems like when I slow it down, all of a sudden there's more beach burger orders. That's what I feel like right now. I know it's not true, but it just feels like that. The game knows what you're trying to do and tries to screw you over a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, 30 seconds is probably not going to cut it. Which I don't understand, because beforehand... There are like no orders coming in. A dirt, if you will. 
I'm the food critic. I'm gonna fail this. I made it. Nice. Starting to pile up. I think I'm safe on ingredients used. Got infested already? Come on. Come on. What the heck is this? Okay. I need to stop it because I'm not gonna pass. Let's just keep going. See if, uh,. First of all, I don't think I need a large storage unit. I'm gonna do that. And then second of all, let's use a um, bug sprayer, exterminator. This covers it. All right, now let's try it. Everything is working the same, I should not fail any orders. If I do, that means the ran orders are randomized. Yeah, lips are so dry, just pick it. Because they're like, they're, they're painfully dry, like super scabby like. And uh, it started bleeding. It's, it's winter for you. For me, at least. I always, I'm always self-conscious about it a little bit because I remember in grade school, this girl said that I should put on chapstick because it looks like I have dog lips. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> I went home and immediately asked my mom for a stick of chapstick. Doesn't help though, I don't know. Like getting bad to the point where they're bleeding during winter because it's so dry. Kill those bugs. Kill them. That's nasty though. That means there's dead bugs in your food. I know that's true. For anything that's uh, producing factories. But it's still gross to think about. <laughs> That's nasty. So nasty. <laughs> I see that the ingredient is kosha. A quota. Kosha. Is that even a word? I don't know what I'm saying right now. Okay. This is a lot worse than what I had before. Hmm. So I guess I, you have to use an order reader. Making it high speed then. Let's go fast guys. Let's go super fast.
All right. Ugh. <laughs> Infestation hazards. I literally don't know what to do to make it more efficient. Maybe just use dumb arms? Uh, you know what? Why don't we go cheaper? Go super cheap. Like if I'm gonna fail the critic order anyways, I might as well use regular dispensers, just regular arms, regular assembler. I don't even know if meeting the critic order is worth it. We'll see though. Fails it. This is not gonna have a higher efficiency score. You know what? Screw it then. Screw you, critic. Don't you understand that people take time to cook food? Are we machines? Yeah, actually, you're using machines here, so. <laughs> We'll see. Okay. Other than maybe like removing a conveyor belt somewhere, like right here, uh, to make it shorter, like I don't think I can make it more efficient. I need to use order readers because 30 seconds was not, it's not slow enough. So. Oh, we'll save in slot two. Okay. Now let's go. Oh wait, the grill is set to high speed. So set it back to normal, because we're not gonna meet the critic order anyways. I thought this level was gonna be one and done. Uh, like I did beat it, I, meet, I met the three objectives, but I wanna get a higher efficiency rating if I can. Looks like I can meet the demand for back-to-back -back beach burger orders with just regular parts, so that's that's good news. There's a way to meet the critic order. Is there like a like an identifier for that order where I can use like the computer maybe the AC 16 or 32? Oh, that. That worked? I just have to be super slow. <laughs> oh, I failed that order anyways. Hmm. 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 That gives me ideas now. If I'm slow on purpose, it'll help me meet high demand orders. Okay. I have to tweak the speed to be a little bit quicker. Just a teeny bit so I can meet that order. Why was there an extra beat burger coming out? I don't understand. Wait, there's no beast burger. What? 
Uh, I'm gonna check this order reader real quick. I think it's set for something else. Wait, what the frick? It's only beach burger, so why is it triggering? What? Is this bugged? Alright. Let's save it and reload it. Cause something fishy is going on here. Something very fishy. Okay, I'm just gonna let it run. This is gonna be the final run for today. I had enough of you, level. I had enough of you. <laughs> It's funny though, sometimes the answer isn't being faster, the answer is being slower. In the case of meeting the food critic order, let's either have a stockpile in a, a storage bin, which I was overusing ingredients anyway, so it wasn't gonna cut it. But oddly enough, going slow enough made it happen. So, I don't know. Learn things every day. See, my lips are bleeding quite profusely now. I feel like a, a vampire because I'm tasting blood. <laughs> I'm not talking because I'm holding a, a napkin in between my lips to stop the bleeding. There's a lot of blood. Like a lot, I mean. Now if I could tweak this to be a teeny bit faster. I think I can replace that conveyor belt with the fast one and it would work out. You know, I'm gonna do that after this run, but look, it's making beach burgers for no reason. Why? Why is it bugging out? That makes no sense. I think the game is bugged. Look, it's making another one. There's no beach burger orders. Oh, now, now there is one. There's two. Okay. They made an extra one. They made three. Why? What's going on here? I have no idea. Look, it's making another one. There's no orders coming in. What the heck? The game is bugged, I think. I'll recheck the order reader. After it fails that order, it just keeps pumping up beach burgers for some reason. I'll check the dispenser, see if they're set properly. It should be five seconds. Now look, there's freaking spoiled food on the display case. I don't understand. I think it's actually lower. I think I got 68% last time. Alright, let's try it. First of all, what the frick is going on here? And what the actual heck? Why does it keep making additional beach burgers? It makes no sense. The only thing that could happen, everything is controlled by an order reader. Restaurant, beach burger, that's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace this with the fast belt. I think that might be enough to get that order in on time. We're gonna save it. And then we're gonna reload it again because something fishy is happening here. Something strange is afoot. The circle K. Last run now. I'm gonna have to Google this because I don't know, that's that's really annoying. Alright. The only way these trigger is through the order reader, so the order reader is being triggered somehow. 
by ghost orders. Maybe they're not just showing up on the order feed? I have no idea. I'll keep an eye on the dishes delivered. I think I understand what's happening. There's an extra beach burger on the counter because it got failed to be it got it didn't meet the delivery time frame after the critic order. And there's an order that comes in, but since there's already a beach burger sitting on the counter, it disappears right away, but it still triggers the dispensers to make a new order. And it keeps making one. So I think that might be the case. Let's see if it meets this one. If it doesn't, it's gonna have problems. It didn't make it. Alright, I'm gonna keep an eye on the dishes delivered. 26.27. Yeah, see, it pinged without anything being delivered. So the extra beach burger on the counter is doing its thing. It's a ghost order. Why is my efficiency rating lower though? I don't understand. Yeah, there's it's the extra ghost burger causing issues. I'm always gonna have an extra burger on the counter. To speed this up a little bit to meet that order and if I can do that it might reduce the problems I'm having Is it because I used more ingredients for failing a, a order? I don't know. Anyways, I'll think about it and uh, come back to it in a few days. That's all I like to do. No use beating yourself over on the head. Uh, trying to do it in one sitting. But yeah, there you have it. You kind of see my thought process in solving these levels. I'm not the brightest, but... You know, I like to kind of think about what I'm doing, try my best to troubleshoot my own builds and whatnot. Hopefully it's helpful and or enjoyable. And anyways, thank you so much for dropping by. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or things you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And yeah, I can't say this enough, but thank you so much for dropping by. And once again, catch you guys next time.